Today, we're going to hear from entrepreneurs who are using blockchain and digital assets to solve real-world problems. Again, we get back to the, uh, the, the hearing of, uh, or the title of this hearing, uh, on-chain tools for an off-chain world. Uh, some of these concepts, some of these solutions are really fun. It's about a gifted engineer trying to make a less expensive, more robust, more precise GPS system for uh, precision agriculture and other location-based systems. Okay, Mr. Horton, you're up. Let's go. All right. Good afternoon, Chairman Johnson, Ranking Member Davis, and members of the subcommittee. It's a pleasure to be here to tell you a bit about the GeoNet Foundation and the great technology the GeoNet community has developed to help American farmers. By way of background, I am from Austin, Texas, and I received a bachelor's and master's in electrical engineering from UC Berkeley in 1996. Prior to initiating the GeoNet project, I co-founded two successful startups in the field of navigation. Today, precision agriculture is a well-proven technology that provides substantial economic benefit to the American farmer through efficient crop applications, which is also good for the environment. Precision agriculture depends on precision GPS, and I am going to describe how blockchain has enabled GeoNet to improve the reliability and reduce the cost of precision GPS for the American farmer. The Global Positioning System, or GPS, is known by most people as the way to find directions when driving. Typical GPS accuracy is measured in feet, not inches. <clears throat> Standard GPS is useful for finding a grocery store, but it is not capable of identifying where a specific plant is planted or to help steer a tractor without running over the plants themselves. To enhance GPS accuracy, precise positioning or precision GPS techniques are able to improve GPS location accuracy from several feet to sub-inch accuracy. The most precise method of precise positioning is RTK, or real-time kinematics. Precise positioning techniques like RTK require either a direct or indirect connection to one or more GPS reference stations. This is what a GPS reference station looks like. For this technology to work at scale and across the country, a network of these GPS antenna is necessary. As I attempted to launch GeoNet, it quickly became apparent that it would cost billions of dollars to place antenna around the country, capital that we did not have. Through my research, I discovered that blockchain can solve this problem. Utilizing blockchain technologies, the GeoNet network has grown quickly, and it is now the largest precise positioning RTK network in the world with more than 15,000 registered stations. In any given week, more than 10,000 professionals use the network, accessing six to 7,000 GeoNet stations daily. This type of application of blockchain now has a name. It is called DEEPIN, or Decentralized Physical Infrastructure Networks. GeoNet is one of the leading DEEPIN networks, but there are many, many more DEEPIN networks being built globally, including DEEPIN networks for broadband internet, mobile internet, decentralized energy, and more. GeoNet is extremely useful because it offers reliable high accuracy positioning needed to conduct precision agricultural farm practices as well as the precision required by many robotics and drone systems. In agriculture, GeoNet is beloved for its low cost accessibility to small and big farm operators alike and its compatibility with both new and old equipment. The USDA's Dale Bumper Small Farm Research Center has been an active GeoNet node operator for over a year and USDA research staff has validated quality and accuracy on both new and old machines. To the end farmer who requires the precise position signal, GeoNet subscriptions offer savings from 33% to 90% per annum compared to centralized corporate competitors. In the southern states where small farms are diverse in size and scope, GeoNet provides small farmers an ROI to use precision ag while higher cost centralized solutions are out of reach or simply don't provide RTK coverage in the area. In the Midwest, GeoNet's unprecedented station density in places like Sioux Falls, South Dakota, provides the best immunity to solar weather, which in 2024 knocked more expensive services offline during the critical planting season, causing significant economic damage. On the West Coast, fully robotic farm practices are becoming popular, and GeoNet is the solution of choice for two of the leading autonomous farm equipment companies. The GOD blockchain token is the key mechanism and becoming pop 
is the key mechanism which allows the network to operate and grow successfully without capital investment required from a centralized entity, corporate or government. For this innovative digital infrastructure to function, GeoNet depends on reliable blockchain networks. Because of blockchain technology and networks, <clears throat> GeoNet has been able to grow quickly. GeoNet encourages the subcommittee to consider ways to enhance clarity on digital asset regulation so that high utility applications of blockchain can thrive in the United States. Thank you, and I look <coughs> forward to answering your questions. Can you guys talk to me a little bit about what we can do uh, to ensure that our rural communities are not left out in this wave uh, of innovation? Um, Congressman, I think, yes, these technologies um, that use blockchain called deep in or decentral decentralized physical infrastructure networks are particularly good at bringing technology to um, more rural communities. Um, our first customer in the agricultural space, Deep Sand, was stymied by the fact there was no pre precise positioning network in his southwest corner of Oklahoma that he could access, and that's what had got him started in looking into us. It wasn't interest in crypto or Web3 or anything, it was a practical need to be able to build infrastructure yeah. and provide infrastructure to his customers, which are, which are farmers. Uh, my first question uh, for you would be uh, for Mr. Horton. You know, as mentioned, it's becoming ever more expensive to, to farm. Margins continue to shrink. And I've been adding that a little bit, but how does your technology or your service help farmers achieve the benefits in a way that can help both small, medium, and large, time, lar large producers uh, become more efficient? Uh, good question, Congressman. Yes, as one of our customers always tells me in, in the ag business, farming is hard enough. And um, the way precise positioning helps farmers is that when you, you know, farm a, a field, if you drive the tractor manually, um, you'll have anywhere from 10 to 20 percent of overlap. Like you, you basically drive over the same area multiple times. By having centimeter accurate GPS, you're able to let the machine steer itself, and it avoids that overlap. And that translates directly into reduced input costs, such as fuel and chemicals when you're spraying. And that uh, really drops to the bottom line. Now, traditionally, um, centralized solutions to this problem have either lacked coverage in certain areas, or they've been pretty darn expensive. And that's provided a hard time for smaller operators to get an ROI with the technology. Um, through this kind of community-based approach that what, what, what is how this blockchain-based GeoNet network works, we've been able to bring that cost substantially down and introduce the precision agriculture technology to a lot of new farmers. Tremendous. And then how does that work? So does their combine or tractor sprayer have to be equipped with certain, obviously, software um, and hardware to be able to utilize the technology? Yes, sir. So there's two solutions. One solution is to use the uh, technology that's already on the equipment and most modern equipment, or I'd say I should say all modern equipment being built today by folks like John Deere, Case, um, and uh, Agco does come equipped, ready to connect to a network like GeoNet. And then there are solutions for retrofitting machines. So you can put on uh, a retrofit kit uh, that will actually sort of put a motor on the steering wheel, which will let it to automatically steer. And those are also extremely popular and lets you utilize older assets and bring value out of them. So, uh, Mr. Horton, you explained in your testimony GeoNet has its own token, but it doesn't have its own blockchain. So help us understand, wh what's the GeoNet protocol? What's Geode? How does that interact with the Solana? Uh, give us some sense of how they fit together. Um, yeah, so you could think about the, the layer block, layer one blockchain as kind of this distributed operating system that projects like GeoNet build on top of. And GeoNet is an application that um, really connects providers of this RTK data to users of this RTK data. And the token is able to help those buyers and sellers transact and record that data in a consistent, transparent way. It also provides an ability for you to reward the stations that are pro providing good coverage and good performance data and incentivize that coverage to grow. And then um, this is to all any of you who want to um, quickly um, uh, talk about this. I spent um, many rural uh, areas don't have the required infrastructure as we discussed and most of my life, uh, much of my life I spent uh, working to bridge the digital divide, um, particularly in rural America. Um, to any of the witnesses, and 
as we roll out rural broadband, are there are platforms designed for farmers to use in low bandwidth environments, or do any of your platforms offer offline capabilities for like the 20% of farmers in my district that lacked high-speed broadband? Uh, our network um, does rely on having good internet connectivity, um, but I think that these decentralized protocols called deep end networks, these decentralized physical infrastructure ne networks really offer an attractive way to extend coverage um, out to rural areas very cost effectively. Uh, Ms. Orton, not only is Geo GeoNet a solution to farmers and others who rely on precision mapping data, but blockchain was the solution to creating GeoNet. You said, quote, it would have cost billions of dollars to place antennae around the country, end quote. Would this project for would this project for precision mapping be possible without blockchain technology? And please speak to blockchain's unique ability to be part of the solution to this problem. Yeah, I think there's a very strong evidence that it, it's not possible and that the um, people have been trying to build this kind of network for 20 years. And uh, both centralized companies as well as governments have spent a lot of money trying to put up stations and, and create a network um, and it just hasn't happened. And GeoNet in two years has been able to build the world's largest network by, in terms of stations, by more than a factor of two. And I think at the root of that is um, the underlying blockchain and the incentive that you can provide by having a token. We presented the idea first at the Institute of Navigation's GNSS Plus Conference, yeah. and it's a very conservative community. We thought the idea of introducing using blockchain to solve this problem of a reference station network would be you know, controversial. We didn't know if people would like it, and in turn, it, it won the best presentation award and uh, immediately attracted folks from the industry to help us participate um, and create this network. GeoNet, mind the sky.